Hi, I'm Moritz from the End of Hints and I'm showing us a new product here. So we have uh, the Grand Terminal, which is new. It's a kind of a new version of the terminal. Uh, it has the two envelope generators you already know. New features are that you have instead of two vectoral based low pass gates here, you have eight different kinds of filters that you can use as you was used to the vectorals. You see when it's a little bit dimmed it's one part four and when it's brightly lit it's the other room. Uh, so you have a classic ladder filter, you have an acid uh, kind of thing, you have a bongo sound without resonance, with resonance, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass and the comb filter which is more like a phasey kind of effect, it's a pretty nice thing. You can have it for both channels separately or you can put them in stereo mode which is then here by the red LED and then you can switch the parameters for both and you only use one kind of knobs for the whole thing. Uh, put them back into normal mode and right here you have a new kind of effect. You have eight effects. You can skip them through. They are affecting both channels. You have certain reverbs, you have a few delays like pitch delay and ta tap delay, multi-tap delay and so on. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, for the terminal. You can have uh, the channels as before playing as VCOs with the pitch and uh, yeah or use it as a single voice one side with the VCO the other side as modulations and you just go off. They used to be uh, stereo output for headphones or mono uh, modular level. With this over here with the cabin fever you can alter uh, the um, um, parameters of the effects like uh, room size or damping or whatever. There's still a little bit to be implemented, but it's going to be out very, very soon. It's the Grand Terminal. Um, right here, we have our new little mixer. It's called Cockpit. It's a four-channel stereo mixer, and it has a few little pretty cool features. <clears throat> the first feature set is that you can, by pressing the encoder, mute or unmute the signal. When it's muted, you can even turn it down and then unmute it and crank up the level again. So it's coming pretty handy for doing whatever kind of mixing you want to have in a live performance. Also, channel one and two are sending a mono sum of the stereo signal to channel three or four, with which you then can use this kind of cable with a stereo and a microphone output. This microphone output goes into the iPad. You can have an effects processor on the iPad and then it returns into the stereo input here. It's the classical headphone uh, with a microphone jack for the iPhone something. Uh, it will be explained within the module. And uh, then you have the possibility to have a ducking for channel three and four. So if I press this a little longer, this little LED over here shows up. I press it off again. And then you can have ducking. So when you take an envelope here, maybe in the same rhythm at, as the bass drum is, you can duck these both channels with that. So you have a wonderful kind of effect chain going on, live mixer, everything is working great. So that's the thing. That's the news, thank you very much.